1991, the Melbourne Community Television Consortium, Inc., Inc., for Incorporated, was established. And its role is to coordinate and facilitate the broadcasting of programs produced by such groups as SCAR TV and RMI TV. Channel 31 started broadcasting to Melbourne in October 1994 on the UHF frequency 31, hence Channel 31. In the short time of just over those six years, Channel 31 Melbourne has experienced unprecedented and phenomenal growth. Broadcast hours have been extended from 24 up to 60 hours of first-run programs per week. Community television is not unique to Melbourne. There are community television stations all over the country. Why do we need community television? Isn't that the role of the ABC and SBS? And of course, no, it isn't. Now, while the ABC and SBS aren't funded by commercial interests, uh, it is not their job to provide access to community groups. And that's where Channel 31 fits in beautifully. It's open to the community to make and broadcast programs. Try that with SBS and ABC. Huh. We believe that this television will be very different and it will provide people an opportunity to be involved in the process. The primary aim of Melbourne Community Television, MCT31, is to give access to the television medium to those who are currently denied it. The secondary aim is to give training in the television medium to those who are currently denied it. Oh, I enjoyed that. Community television entirely relies on volunteer and subscriber support. In America, it's different. In America, they've got cable television that supports community TV. In America, part of the license fees from cable television goes to supporting community TV. Now, you might say, ha oh, ha, but I pay my taxes. I support community television. But you'd be wrong, because in Australia, we get no funding for community television from either state or federal governments. We depend entirely on subscription and volunteer support. <laughs> How about that? Aren't we good? Now, of course, the most important thing about Channel 31 are the programs, but a lot of people think that Channel 31 produces all the programs itself, but of course, they'd be wrong. Programs come from the production groups and are produced outside Channel 31. We have a lot of cultural shows because, let's face it, we're the most culturally diverse city in Australia. And this is reflected by the fact that there are programs in over 18 different languages broadcast every week. And if you like sports, well, we probably have more Australian Rules football shows than all the other stations combined. There are cricket shows and a number of shows on motorsport. There are comedy shows that support Melbourne's up-and-coming comedians. There are lifestyle program shows produced by students and news programs that focus not only on what's happening around Melbourne, but also all around Australia and across the globe. And for the largest part, it's produced by volunteers from the production groups. You know, one of the joys of a place like Channel 31 are working with the volunteers, and we have a lot of volunteers here, and without them, we'd be buggered. Now, we do have some staff, but much of the day-to-day -day running of Channel 31 depends on the work of volunteers, like the work done here in the glamorous surrounds of the department called Programming. It's here that we check uh, individual programs. We check that they run the right length of time. We check to see if there are any legal problems. We give them a rating like PG or MA or W for whatever. And we also check to see that the tape has no technical faults because you don't want to be watching that wiggly squiggly stuff, do you? All done here, mostly by volunteers. Now, once all the programs have been checked and the time's added up, then it's over to the bum, 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 traffic department. Brum, 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 brum. Now, here in the traffic department, what we do is we take all the station breaks and presenters' announcements and we slot them in between all the programs. And when we've worked out the schedule for that, we take all the separate tapes and put them onto one big tape and somebody presses play. It's as easy as that. Oh, sh